Okay, it is a busy day at TCB HQ. We've got the Mini in that we put the System X uh, ceramic coating on. We're just doing a wash and a test uh, a few months later. And James, your car is a disgrace, young man. Tell us about this car. So, had it from brand new? Had it from brand new, bought it in September. It's done 9,000 miles without a wash. No wash? No wash, back and forth from London every day. Look at this, OMG. Absolutely disgusting. So, look at this. Look, look. This is what we like. We like dirty cars like this. So, this car is going to have a full maintenance wash. It doesn't need clay. So, we're going to do full maintenance wash, contact wash, um, and then we're going to think about an LSP. So, a short video of this showing you a before and after. So, transforming this into something that I hopefully You'll be more, you have more pride nice in. Nice and shiny. No, you want it shiny? Nice and shiny. Or we could do shiny, so uh, good times. Okay, so that's it, a really, really quick one. Um, owner is really, really happy with the car. It came up really, really well. Um, we'll do a whip round in a minute. If you hear the noise, it's raining outside, which is normal. We've got another car to do today. Yeah, we do. It's gonna be fun. So um, I'm gonna quickly go through the uh, products in a minute, but a bit of valuation, quite a tricky one. That's so the car was only a few months old, but had no LSP. And it emphasizes the point about having an LSP because that dirt was really problematic, wasn't it? Uh, so let's give some context. So like Andy said, it is about three months old. However, he had done 9,000 miles on it. Never washed it. Uh, never washed it, which you'll, you can see from the video itself. 
and it, it, it done a lot of motorway traffic. It'd been through London and everything else daily. So we, we noticed like a spray-on tar, didn't it? That didn't have the citrus, snow and shampoo didn't even touch it. We had no. to hit it with the only thing that got rid of it was uh, solvent tar and glue. Wasn't yeah, it? it was solvent tar and glue, and it was it wasn't just on the lower sections. We were we were having to attack it on the roof, roof as, as well. well. It was really quite a difficult difficult car to wash. That yeah, one. yeah. So super super important. Get an LSP on your car. It makes the wash. Uh, process so much quicker and safer um, because we were really conscious that the paint was almost sticky wasn't it holding onto the grit so that citrus that snow foam is so so important just to leave the traffic film which will then get removed on the contact wash uh, contact wash so um, really enjoyable it came up a treat didn't it I did it did it was a, a, a bugger to be yeah to be fair it and was. it was white but once we got it oh yeah it was a stunning car by the end of it two hours to do it and we take our hats off to you professional detailers doing cars, three or four cars a day, uh, we salute you sirs and madams. Okay, so quick run through the products. Um, right at the start, uh, we used um, a Surfix HD by Built Hamber. The shampoo was um, Auto Apothecary Revive, great shampoo. Um, and um, obviously before that, we used ADBL's Yeti Pearl Snow Foam. On the actual wheels, bit of a combination. Um, we used Infinity Wax's wheel shampoo, PNS Brake Buster, not enamoured by that, didn't do a great job, so we had to go back to the old Faithful Infinity Wax Incinerate, and that was your idea to use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That PNS foamed up nicely, but it, it, it didn't have much kick, did it? It wasn't the most um, potent, aggressive of yeah. wheel cleaners. Absolutely, and on the tyres, pure black uh, tyre cleaner by Shiny Garage, and then titivation stage, no particular order. Um, BCP's trim and um, tyre gel, Tenzi Pro Detailing Glass Cleaner, Shiny Garages, back to black, um, tyre dressing, really, really good. Um, and we used a wheel wax uh, by Alien Magic, not sure if it's um, still available. Um, and I'm gonna do, well, we're gonna do a full review on this. I'm not gonna go into detail. Wax and Away Ceramic Detailer, absolutely <clears throat> brilliant. Carl didn't get to play with this, but he's gonna have a go today. I'm not going to go into any details, but wow, what a versatile, quick, smear-free. Basically, I blacked it all over the car apart from the windscreen. Um, no smears on anything, um, and the gloss enhancement, it was noticeable. So absolutely fantastic product. We are going to do a dedicated review for this. And we've also got Waxing Away ceramic wax that we're going to do as well. So um, really um, looking forward to that. Um, Decon stays, just for information, we use CarPro Tar X and of course Built Hamber Corosol to get rid of the, of the contamination. Okay, so that's it. Nice quick one, this one. I, I reckon this will be the shortest video we've ever put on YouTube. This is a first for everything. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we'll try and edit it down. All right, so the owner is really, really happy. We're going to get it back for an interior clean at a later point. So it is absolutely precipitating profusely. Yep. And what we're doing now, we've got a we're Seat, haven't we? Seat to uh, crack on with. Wash, which is paint wash, correction, claying. Paint yep. And then we haven't even decided what LSP we're doing, are no. we? Okay, so good times. Watch out for the next video.